Hello powerful galactic beings, welcome back to another video. The transportation of 5D Earth to a new vibrational orbit continues and is now passing through an extremely tense space. Annular radiation of multicolored energies appeared around the Argorion ships and reaches Earth, affecting the planet and our aura. These are radiations of blue, white, and red energies. During the passage of the radiating ring against the background of swamp-colored energy, five-dimensional fractals of new 5D matter are formed from multicolored plasma. In the space filled with new force fields, that control and adjust our brain structure to new thinking, we may feel colic in the head and other parts of the body, blurred vision, hearing loss, changes in the frequencies of noise, buzzer, in the ears. Colic is also possible in the area of the heart and lower back. This is a normal state of restructuring of our body. The incoming quantum flows also impact the entire global situation. By succumbing to skillfully induced panic, we help the global signs mutate with us. It has become an indicator of our spiritual state and produces natural selection, as Argorians have repeatedly warned. Until we understand what is happening, it will continue to be so. Fear is a serious matter, and it is tantamount to disbelief in God. Our further exams will be even tougher as the energy would be stronger. Not matching our vibrations with 4D and 5D Earth's frequency will only complicate our survival in the new energy environment. That is why it is so vital to create a comfortable spiritual state around us, calmly perceive extreme situations, and not lose self-control. The most difficult thing, currently hanging in space, is the transformation of our physical body at the cellular level. In the evenings, we may have chills or a sluggish temperature, dizziness and headaches, insomnia, and increased emotionality. The energies that trigger changes in the structure of our cells are becoming more and more activated. It feels like the cell's cores are growing and becoming more powerful, letting the energy of high vibrations into every millimeter of our body. We are increasingly becoming conduits of quantum flows of the absolute at all levels. Gradually, our pineal gland begins to morph and would double in size. It manifests in sleep disorders and at the same time very vivid dreams. This is the activation of our vision and awareness. We are becoming more powerful. The processes taking place inside each conscious person increasingly affect his environment and events on a planetary scale. In such difficult times, in no case should we escalate our mood and panic. In any unclear situation, it is important to hear our hearts. Mentally, fill it with light. To allow ourselves to leave and let everything that occurs happen for our good, we must permit ourselves to see the situation as a whole, realize what for it happened, see all possible scenarios, and automatically choose the best one. Now it is important to eat right, and truly know what we indeed want. Do not shove unnecessary food into ourselves. Don't choose by our brain what to eat. By the first piece in our mouth, it is immediately clear whether we indeed want it or not. Do not finish to the end if we are full from a third of the portion. Drink more alkaline water that perfectly removes toxins and products of adjustment to new energies. Walking in nature, breathing in the fresh air and even light physical exercises is perfectly a great way to start. By stretching and charging, will help our body to get enough oxygen and not stagnate. If there is an opportunity to get a massage, it is also good. We need to keep track of the state of our body's biochemistry, what is missing, and what is in excess. Sometimes, it is enough to take med tests and drink vitamins, to bring us into balance. No race on earth has ever lived through what is happening to humanity now. That there is a future ahead of us that science fiction dreamed of for centuries. It feels brighter and nearer. Today we resemble embryos. We are forming again to be born on a new 4D and 5D Earth. The getting of a new body, through which every soul passes, dying and being born again, we cross without physical death. In our individual spheres, every structure, every organ is being renewed, formed anew to correspond to new energies. On a subtle plane, it looks like spheres that are suspended at a low altitude. At the same time, a wide light stream connects each sphere with the Earth. A very beautiful, luminous sight. Our connection with the sphere, our energy uterus, runs through a block in our brain that emits radiant energy atron. It is no longer a physical connection with the mother through the umbilical cord, 
When the task is to form the tissue of our body, we already have a body. This is a transforming formation and renewal of a different level. First, it is our brain that reacts to all impulses and direct signals to reactions changes in our physical body. Therefore, if we experience body reaction, pain, focus attention on some organ, system's problem, then it's most often produced by some emotional state during a day or several days. So, an image from the past may pop up, or an awareness of an old malaise in a new way, and so on. It is necessary to listen carefully to such prompts, because they push us to revise our consciousness. Through thought, and then if necessary, through action, we are now correcting, updating our body and awareness. The difference is also that a child in the womb cannot influence the formation of his body. But as adults, we have awareness. And by running it in our attention, we can control the process. We can create the best at our wish. Our brain is the first to respond to impulses about change. It sends info about transformation not only to our physical body, but also to our energy shells and DNA strands activation. That is why memories of a physical and emotional nature return. For example, if we feel back pain, then cases of our helplessness and insecurity may immediately come to mind, especially in childhood, when it happened. And then, we should restore this part of ourselves first of all, on an emotional level. In no case, we shouldn't panic if are faced with several problems that may arise at once. When this happens, we often don't know which issue to tackle first. We feel confusion, where to run and what to do. This is how several parts of our brain are activated, cleaned, and updated at once. After a while, clarity restores. The main thing is not to create excessive emotional tension and not to suppress the process. Now we sense as isolated from the world. Everything that happens outside we perceive is like the background. We can still hear what is happening around us, see our loved ones, and participate in our usual life. But all this is as if the child being inside the mother heard and felt what was occurring outside. We are perfectly safe and at the same time in an intense transformation. Just imagine how much energy is spent on the formation of a new person, a new body in the womb. And now realize how much energy it takes to transform our already formed body. And what new energy ocean we are currently bathing in. Previously, the spiritual descended into the material. Now the material rises into the spiritual. Internal balance is extremely important for each of us these days. This is a part and a key factor of the whole process we are in. It's the alignment, and our coming back to divine balance. This awakening process works on different levels. There are those who have slumbered long, who now have a feeling that things have changed, but they are unable to express why. Of course, they see the changes after the global lockdown, but they sense that something deeper has changed, even if they are not able to put into words what this may be. This group is experiencing a gentle nudging from the inside, a feeling that is sometimes hopeful, sometimes fearful. Then there are those who are awakening to the lies that have been forced upon humanity, and this group can experience despair for some, anger and rage for others. This is proper, it is a stage of the bereavement process through which they must pass. Experiencing it and acting it out are, however, very different. There is another group, who have passed through this process and have moved to understanding that all is love. If you find that, on some days, you drop from loving forgiveness into rage and perhaps even despair, this too is part of the process. Be gentle with yourself, then you can hold that vibration for others. This group is currently focusing on light and love within, as well as sending love and light to those whose hearts lack this divine food, where divine love and light has been squashed, brutalized or suppressed. Finally, there is yet another group of light workers, who not only know that all is love, but they are experiencing this directly, as their hearts open to direct experience of their higher self, so that the love that has lain hidden within them for so many lifetimes erupts within them. All groups are necessary, just as all stages on the journey are necessary. You cannot jump from discovery to heart expansion directly, you do have to pass through the stages. To create heaven on earth right now would result in disaster, because the majority of humanity would not be able to comprehend the leap, and they would seek to recreate situations and behaviors that resonated with them, creating more chaos and pain. 
The past needs to be cleared, the pain needs to be healed. I am not saying that we are waiting for 100% healing, and 100% clearing. We are awaiting the vibrational tipping point. And we are so very close. All those who predominantly hold the vibration of love, hold a higher vibration than those predominantly living in fear. Therefore, the energy they exude has greater power, due to its higher vibration. The less you seek worldly power, the more you seek forgiveness and love. Paradoxically, through this process, your inner power grows. It is then that you have begun to surrender the ego, allowing the power of the divine to flow through you in the service of the highest good. You are all, without exception, channels of divine love, some of you are more open to that love than others. Wherever you are on your journey, know that your space and vibration is sacred. It is a part of the whole and it is serving its purpose in freeing humanity. The process of awakening is the process of releasing the divine within, and allowing it to manifest on a higher level, in order for one to become a complete energy of love and acceptance. The journey to this vibration is the reason for all incarnations. Wherever you are, whoever you are, you are part of me, and I am part of you. We are sacred and one with the Source. In order for us to awaken to this consciousness of oneness with the All, we must go through different stages of awakening this higher consciousness within each and every one of us. Stage 1 is the inner standing that reality is the result of one's own consciousness as the cause. This consciousness, which is the cause of reality, is the combined frequency of thoughts, beliefs, fears, emotions, subconscious memory held as karmic energy impulses as well as the levels of harmony or disharmony within the mental and emotional bodies. Stage 2 is the inner standing that everyone else's actions, thoughts, beliefs, emotions have nothing to do with you or anyone else. It is all based on their own frequency, which is their own cause of their own reality. Stage 3 is the inner standing that happiness, love and abundance and any other quality state of being, or virtue of consciousness is not based on the external. It is based on the cause, the combined frequency of thoughts, emotions, levels of heart awareness, harmony, and so on as listed above. In stage 4, you become aware of being responsible for your own level of consciousness. Your own thoughts, emotions, feelings, levels of harmony, and disharmony. This then becomes the awareness of you to you. This way of being is hot based on the external or anyone else. When you have graduated through these stages and live knowing this as a constant state of awareness, then you have freed yourself from the constraints of non-truth and have matured so much so. Now you are recognizing in every moment you are the cause of your reality. When you realize these things fully, it becomes easy to adjust any mental patterns, emotional patterns that no longer serve you. This is where the levels of ascension and the initiations associated with ascension come into full play. Now you are aware, Awake, enlightened and willing to align the old patterns with the new enlightened self to be the next level ascended master on earth. The form then begins to dramatically change and adjust the central nervous system to higher light frequency so as to align with the true reality at the highest level of consciousness. All form is made of light frequencies. You then easily adjust your mental patterns, emotional patterns and you leave through the higher truths of cause and you take responsibility for what frequency you are being. What states you are vibrating at the moment? Are you vibrating in the frequency of love or are you vibrating in the frequency of hate and disharmony with all that exist? Are you in alignment with nature or with the matrix? These are the necessary questions you have to ask yourself, and then tune your frequencies, so as to be the higher self, cosmic god self, ascended master being, that is eternal. It is important to know that your true form is all light that never dies. This brings the ascension pattern and its full awakening into play, as the one that walks the earth and all worlds consciously. This is where this is going. As an experience and your evolution. Know thyself powerful beings, and activate any dormant DNA that is not fully realized, as that which form is, that which cause is, that which it is, and which is eternal. All you must know should be love and all forms of higher vibrational energies. Learn more about yourself every day, and gradually, you will start to rise to your full potentials. I hope this video was helpful to you, see you in the next video. Peace, love and life.